friends welcome to my channel the learning pen so in today's video i'm going to tell you about what are the benefits and what are the limitations of using virtualization as in my previous video i have already told you about what is uh, virtualization and everything related to virtualization but in this video you must know that what is the benefits of using virtualization and what are the limitations that you must kept in your mind while using virtualization so let's start the video okay so let's start with what are the benefits of using virtualization actually i have make a video on what is virtualization you can just click on the i button given above where i have told you that what is virtualization and now in this video i will tell you what are the benefits and the limitations of using virtualization so the first one it keeps the cost predictable now the it infrastructure whosoever is a uh, i mean the user he knows what my cost would be incurred during this process whole process of virtualization because uh, he he knows that he is using virtualization he knows that he is using cloud paper as model that's why he knows what my cost is and more but it is cheaper because user can just simply use the virtualization environment and however the it infrastructures who are actually using the servers who are creating the regions of cloud computing there and they should also uh, i mean make the server and create virtual environments in twin and hence it is cheaper for them to install a single server and then create multiple virtual environments for the clients who are coming and for so many multiple clients so that's why it is uh, cheaper and that's why it keeps the cost predictable to the user who is using the virtualization second and the third comes that is it reduces the workload why it reduces the workload because because it is automatically updated by the software vendors and by the management tools obviously the third party providers and now the business uh, users i mean who are using the virtualization they don't need to worry about the workload being given on their servers and what actually the whole process of it infrastructure there is uh, they just need to worry about uh, their own thing that is their own business and uh, there comes the offers a better up time virtualization offers a better up time why because nowadays not only uh, aws which is the popular cloud provider or uh, you can say where virtualization is being provided by them there can be number of uh, companies or you can say there can be number of cloud providers where they offers a better up time to them that is 99.99% of uh, up time to them up time means the functionality able of functionality there is no outage to the processes or the services that are offered to the user then comes the energy savings and easier backup and disaster recovery why because energy saves here uh, no amount of electricity is given to a multiple servers if they are installed because now a single server is converted into multiple servers through virtualization so that's why energy gets saved then comes easier backup and disaster recovery obviously in times of floods or in times of power outages in times of uh, cyber attacks data gets wiped out from the database so that's why it, virtualization provides the process of redundancy replication of data is created that's why easily backup of your data is uh, present in virtualization and that's what is in times of disaster and the data gets recover back to your device to to the user who is using that network of uh, virtualization so basically it saves the energy now faster deployment of resources means that there is no longer need to set up physical servers physical technology components and the creation of uh, local networks it just simply expands your virtual environment simply expands to the whole of the uh, organization and just it improves the performance because it expands in a single server there are so many you can say virtualized environment that are created so it simply expands with the help of a single machine it promotes the digital entrepreneurship why because a uh, average person who thinks that it is impossible for me to expand my business globally for, for me to start my business to hustle and all now because of virtualization because of cloud computing it is easy for him to start his own business expand it globally and promotes his digital entrepreneurship and become the business owner which he thinks might was difficult at the time when there was no virtualization at the time when there was no cloud computing now let's just check out what are the limitations of using virtualization 
okay so the first one is that it is it has a high cost of implementation and it creates the security risk high cost of implementation means for the user it is quite low i mean the cost is quite low for them to use the services provided by the cloud providers or the virtualization environment created by them but for the companies who are using for the providers who are implementing these kinds of things like they need to set up soft software and hardware their implementation their manufacturation their development and all so these things require cost and that's what it is high cost of implementation for the provider it creates security risk why because data which is very crucial for the business companies it is present in database it is present in their virtual environment it mostly it is targeted by the hackers to keep this data to have this data and that's what uh, there is a risk of security there is a risk of security in virtualization as one well. but you can say there uh, were a time in 2017 when data security breach was happened but actually virtualization all in all we can say there is one in four uh, companies or enterprises who data get lost or data breach could happen here comes the availability issue it means it is the primary concern why because uh, the users who want to access their network they need to worry about the availability because it is actually controlled by the third party providers and they need to think that okay because we have to compete with some other industries as well should my data should my services be available all the time then creates the scalability issue that means now the small business companies can take away a large number of resources which could be present for a small business company as well and that's why here comes the lag of growth between these two companies and uh, obviously this creates a scalability issue between now comes it takes the time why it takes time the because the users in the long run can have to take the extra step that must be followed to generate the desired amount of result so that's why it takes time at that process and come the software licensee considerations in the time of software the vendors who are using the software of virtualization creating it they have to clearly understand how they view software in a virtualized environment this is what refers to the software licensing considerations when it comes to vendors who are generating the software who are using this software to create a virtualized environment I hope you have enjoyed the session and learned a lot about what is the benefits and what are the limitations of using virtualization. Please do like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel, The Learning Pen, for more such tutorials and knowledge-related videos on the channel, The Learning Pen. Thank you.